Hey, it's Jared. In this video, we're going to talk about using Tick Tick with Notion. Now, a while ago, I did a similar video for Todoist, and I was using Todoist, but now I've been using Tick Tick for, I'd say, about the last 60 days. And I really like Tick Tick just because of the integrations that it has with Google Calendar and then also the habit tracker. Uh, I like being able to utilize a task management or like a to do list type of system because of the natural language input. And so, uh, you know, in Notion, I love my, my Notion task manager that I built because it ties in with projects and clients and all the different databases that I have it connected to. But what it doesn't do is give me a really easy way to get new tasks in to the system. And it doesn't give me a nice interface. I mean, I, I just really like these dedicated apps still for some of these features. So with Tick Tick, I have uh, Tick Tick on my phone, my tablet, on my computer, and that is where I am inputting my different tasks throughout the day and managing them as well. I'm also ticking those tasks off as they are completed or moving them to the next day. But I also want that information to go into Notion so that I can log some of those tasks in Notion. Now, I usually only log my client tasks in Notion. I use Tick Tick for my personal tasks and for any other tasks that are not related to a client project. And that's because there's lots of things that don't need to go into Notion. I don't need a Notion database entry for grocery shopping or something like that. I can use Tick Tick for that, and I find that to be a better solution. However, I want the client tasks that maybe I'm gonna be billing for those tasks, or I need to be tracking the time spent on those tasks for, uh, for a retainer that I have with that client or that client has with me. And with that, I want an easy process of getting the stuff that is in Tick Tick into Notion, and I use Zapier to connect the two applications. Now, of course, Notion has its own API now, and there are integrations and things that you can do um, in different ways with Notion, but still when connecting different apps together, utilizing Zapier is the way to go. So when I wanna add a new task to Tick Tick that I also wanna go over to Notion, here's my process. I will tap plus for a new task, and I will type something in like update homepage with holiday hours. And then I will, um, I mean, if I'm using natural language input, I could put like today at 3 p.m. or something like that. But just to keep things simple, I'm just gonna tap and put in, I'll put in today's date and I'll put it for an hour ahead. And then I will go and use a tag, and this is what Notion is going to get uh, connected to, is an actual tag. So Zapier is gonna be listening for tasks that have this specific tag. And the reason that I'm using a tag is because then I can add tasks in Tick Tick to any project. Doesn't matter what project, whether it's a project for a specific client or just a more generic project, as long as I'm using the client tag, then Zapier will see that and it will pull that task into Notion. So I'll go ahead and add that client tag and then I'm going to add this to a uh, specific category or a project here. So I'll just go ahead and throw it in that project and then I will add it. And you can see that it has added it to Tick Tick. So now, because I have Zapier running and Zapier is connected in this way, Zapier is going to be listening for Tick Tick to have a new task added to Tick Tick or a new item added that has that tag. So as you can see here, I'm using the Tick Tick app. I am connected to new task created. So when a new task is created, it's going to trigger this. I'm connected to my Tick Tick account and it's also looking at all lists. So it doesn't matter which list or project I am in, it's going to find it so long as the client tag is enabled. And then it's going to send that over to Notion. And you can see here, it's Notion. It's gonna create a database item. It's connected to my Notion account. It's connected to my task database. And then it's bringing in the information that it's going to populate into Notion for me. 
So uh, this typically, because of the level of the account that I have, runs about every five minutes. So this can take a little bit of time. I am on the starter plan right now with uh, Zapier, which is inexpensive. I've got a link down in the description below for you to try out Zapier so you can get a trial. And uh, this process of setting up a Zap is extremely easy. I did kind of glaze over it pretty fast, but as you connect TickTick to Notion, it's gonna walk you through the entire process that you need to go through in order to connect to these. So now if I go over to Notion and tap on my tasks, and it's gonna load up my tasks, uh, in a few minutes here, we will see a task pop up that will be the update the home page with holiday hours uh, task. And I can go ahead and finish connecting that task to the specific client. So that can take a moment. If I go in and run this, I can force run the zap and it's gonna go ahead and look for new and it triggered and found one. And so uh, right now here we've got the update homepage with holiday hours, you can see that it automatically gave it the status of next up. Uh, it did bring in the date and time as well, which is great. It assigned it to me. And then I can also uh, fill in any of these other areas. So it also added the area of Hill Media Group, which is the name of my company. And I can, any of these other properties that are here can be populated and connected within the Zap. And so uh, I have that set kind of wide right now because I have different clients that would come in. It's not bringing in things for a specific client. So I still would need to go and select the client. It's also not bringing in the project because this could be applied to a lot of different projects. And so these are things that I'm still going to manually have to do in Notion. But one of the things that I'm not going to forget is entering the task in the first place. And that's the problem that I was having before I was able to connect Zapier between these two applications. I would forget to input the task altogether, and then I would miss out on billable hours or logging my time on specific tasks for a project. And I'd have to backtrack and go back into TickTick -tick and look and see, okay, what task was that? Uh, when did I do that? When was it completed? And put that in. And so this process saves me a ton of time in connecting these two worlds, TickTick -tick and Notion. And then once again, I'm, I'm using both of these because Notion just is not the best solution yet for task management. And I don't know if it ever will be. It's got a long way to go to be able to work as well as an application like TickTick -tick or even Todoist or a lot of the other applications that are out there. So I'm gonna be doing a review also of TickTick. -tick. I found it to be uh, better for my use case than Todoist. I've been on Todoist for a long time. I've got a lot of history there. I've been using that app for multiple years. Uh, had paid for the app all the way into the middle of 2023 but really needed the habit tracker and the ability to go a bit more granular with my lists and projects, which TickTick -tick does. So maybe you're wondering, how do you build a task manager and a project manager in Notion? Well, I've got free templates for you. So make sure to head down into the description where there are some links. I have uh, a course as well, but the templates are free. So check out those templates and see if they work for you. If you want to better understand Notion, you'll definitely want to check out my Notion course, which is going to help you understand databases and interlinking and all of that good stuff so that you can build out the tools that will make you more productive and get more done. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, ask down in the comment section below and I hope to see you back in another one soon. Make sure to click that subscribe button. Take care.